The climb is everything that conspires to drown that tiny phase shift. Noise doesn't merely surround such an experiment. It occupies it. The ground rumbles with distant storms. Passing trucks nudge the earth. The building breathes. Within the mirror, thermal jostling rattles the atoms. Even the photons you use to measure arrive in a fundamentally grainy way, a quantum snow that makes the beam's brightness flicker. The naive fix would be to pour in more light. Brightness reduces the randomness of counting photons until the pendulum swings the other way. Pummeling the mirror with more photons means more random kicks from their collective momentum. You trade one kind of quantum fuzz for another. There's a limit where position knowledge and disturbance reach a compromise, the standard quantum limit. And here's an unexpected turn. You beat it not by brute force, but by sculpting the uncertainty itself. Inject light whose vacuum fluctuations have been squeezed. Less noise in the variable that matters for the readout, more noise shunted into the variable that does not. You don't eliminate uncertainty. You redirect it, like a sailor trimming a sail to cheat the wind.